Square footage is a really common unit in area, and we're always trying to figure area when we're estimating for construction. A painter will calculate their paint based on how much surface area they're trying to coat. So here's a word problem we can set up. I'll read it to you, then we'll set it up, then we'll solve it. One gallon of interior paint covers 275 square feet of surface area. How many gallons are needed to paint one side of a wall that is eight feet high and 42 feet long? So what do we know? We know that each gallon uh, is going to cover 275 square feet. That's the first thing we know. We also know the size of our surface. It's eight feet tall by 42 feet long. So we need to figure out what is the square footage of that surface area first, and then we need to divide it by our 275 that will give us the number of gallons we need to coat this wall. So given that, we have eight feet times 42 feet, which when we multiply those together is gonna to give us 336 square feet. That is the job that we're trying to coat. We can divide that by our 275 square feet that is our yield per gallon of this particular paint, and that's going to give us a number of 1.22 gallons. What that means as a painter is that I am going to have to buy two gallons of paint. One gallon won't do it, and two gallons is too much, but we can always save some for later for touch-ups, and also we're gonna have some waste in our uh, tray and possibly our roller as well. Like the walls in our previous question, we often calculate our floors in square feet as well. Here we have a room and we wanna know what the square footage is of this particular floor. So we're gonna calculate the area and that's going to be measurement A times measurement B. That would be length times width of this room. So one measurement, measurement A, is gonna be 23 feet five inches and we're gonna multiply that times 11 feet seven inches. If we convert both of these measurements to inches only, we're going to get 281 inches for our 23 and 5 inches and 139 inches for our 11 feet 7 inches. We can then multiply those two numbers together. So 281 inches times 139 inches is going to be 39,059 square inches. Now that we have that, we can convert this inch or square inch measurement into a square foot measurement by dividing it by 144. This is going to give us a total square footage of 271.24 square feet. So if you're wondering where my 144 came from that we divided our square inches by, it's very simple. For every square foot, there is 144 square inches in that foot. So when we divide it, we end up with our square feet. Here's another question to solve for area. We're gonna solve it in square footage. I'll read the question to you, then we'll set it up and then solve it. What is the area in square feet of a room that measures 12 foot three long and eight foot two wide? So that's what we know is our length and our width. Remember our equation for solving area is gonna be simply length times width when we're talking about a rectangle, which this room is a rectangle. In this problem, we have our length as 12 foot three inches and our width as eight foot two inches. We're going to multiply these two measurements together. If we had a construction calculator, we can just punch in the numbers and it will come up with a solution. If you don't have a calculator, the easiest way or one way that is easy to solve this would be to convert both measurements into inches only. So we can take our 12 feet and calculate the inches. That would be 12 inches times the 12 feet then add the three inches to it. So 12 foot three inches, and then we're gonna multiply that times our second dimension, which is going to be 12 inches times our eight feet plus the extra two inches. So our first dimension or measurement is going to be 147 inches, and our second dimension is going to be 98 inches. This is a simple calculation we can make. So we have 147 inches times 98 inches. This is going to give us our 14,406 square inches. Now we can convert this to square feet, which is what our original intention was. And we're going to do that by dividing it by 144 which is going to give us our square feet of just over 100. It's gonna be 100.04 square feet. So this answer is not an even number. It's just a hair over 100 square feet. So when you're estimating for materials, you have to decide 
if you can order 100 square feet or if you can order 101 square feet. And sometimes with the process of installing it, you might need another 10% for waste with tiles or other things like that. So keep in mind that this number is a round number to get an estimate, and this is the way we'd achieve it. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.